Hey everybody. Y'all, we are back at it again today. Probably briefly, because this is in the evening. It's what, babe? About 11, not 11 o'clock, about 8 o'clock, I think. In the evening, um, we were trying to get started once my husband got home from work, kind of got situated, and there was a couple of things he wanted to do today. Okay, so this is where we are now. He's out here in the yard. You guys, when he took this stuff off of the patio, he was trying to get it packed up. Oh, neat. You know, in the yard, under the swing. But what I told him is, babe, when you pack stuff up like that, when I need to get to it, it's hard for me to get to it. For example, like the chairs that he's taking. I'm trying not to spin you guys too fast. The chairs that he put up inside and my yard is not used to this junkie. I just had to get everything off that patio. Yeah, but they know. But, you know, like he put the chairs up there and I'm like, babe, he has chairs up on the top. And then he has them all packed up under here. You know, where I kind of struggle to get them out. Because, see, what I need to do, what I can work on while he's at work is I need to um, kind of refresh those, get them painted, spray painted and stuff. So, I said, babe, I, I can't get to the stuff. So, he didn't want me trying to grab those chairs down. Let me sit you guys down. He didn't want me trying to grab those chairs down. So, that's what he's doing now. And in the meantime, let me turn you guys this way. The lighting is a little bit better. Hold on, y'all. In the meantime, this is what we're getting ready to do. Let me explain to you what I have going on. Okay. There are certain things that I do know I want to do as it pertains to making over the patio. One of the things that I know I want to do is to have some type of sheer panels all the way around except on this end. I probably, right now I'm thinking I will not do any on this end. That's my thought process right now. But this side here all the way around, I think I will. So, went and got some of the little you guys remember these little very inexpensive curtain rods? Got these from Lowe's. I think they were seven something. About seven ninety eight, I think. Because I needed them kind of long. But they're not gonna be long enough. Let me turn you this way. They're not gonna be long enough to go from to go from here from pole to pole so what I ended up doing was I'm gonna have this is 10 feet so we're gonna do two rods so one will go here halfway and then the other will go the other halfway my dude number one has already put up the little um baby what you call these the little brackets yeah he's already put those up okay and he's put them up on this side and the other side. So now all I have to do is slide the drapes on and we're done with that. What I decided on this end, because I mentioned wanting to have something that was removable. That way, if my grandbabies are out here playing, then they won't have to come all the way around. Like if we had put wood right here, they would have had to come all the way around to this end up here before they can get back on the patio. I didn't want them to have to do that. And plus, I want to be able to have a clear view of our grandbabies when they're out there playing. Okay, having said that, we're gonna do curtains on this end. I'm gonna start with shears because I've not found the curtains yet that I want. So, baby, where are the brackets at? The brackets that I gave you. So what I had to do, and I be trying to explain everything 
so you guys will know my thought process and that's why we can't that's why this this video or this makeover has to be in series because if we try to condense it into one video there will be so much that we would have to leave out and I'm just trying to give you guys ideas and want you to understand my thought process okay so because this end here this end here I want to do a double rod okay now because and I want to do a double rod because on one of the rods I want the shears and then I think on the other rod I want more of a curtain okay that's my thought process now you guys see this right here the little hooks for the little black curtain rod I just showed you guys because this area right here is so thin and I hope you guys can see this I can't really tell how well it's showing up but anyway because this area here is so thin he was only able to put one of the nails inside the little bracket can you guys see that I'm trying to move the camera okay that's better you see how he's only able to get one of the little nails in the bracket because that little piece is not wide enough, okay? So don't worry about stuff like that. Um, it's it's going to be fine. It's just a shear up there. So these are the brackets that I got. I told you I wanted to do a double rod. And we want those here. Up here like this. Okay? Makes sense. I hope you guys were able to see that. I don't know if the camera was focusing. And he's just now opening this stuff and looking at it. So he's kind of hearing what I'm wanting to do the same time you guys are hearing it. So I ordered two long rods. I have two of these. Baby, don't they have the little hooks or something on the end? Well, no, you have this right here. I'm making an A, B, and C. What is it, there's, there's, probably, there should be some type of little cap. Yeah, because you see it has, see it has it. a little screw. I see that. Yeah, so there's some type of little cap that goes on well, the end. Well, that's going to be too long. Maybe. Okay. It's not going to be too long. It's adjustable. Okay. Okay. It's adjustable. Oh. Woo. And in order to do the, the double rods, that's why I had to do this kind of, had to do my research and do this kind of curtain hook so we can hook. The shears would be on the outside because they're waterproof. I am looking for some waterproof proof drapes as well. If by chance I don't really find something that I like, then I'll go with a regular drape because again, that waterproof drape is gonna be on the outside and it'll be so easy for me to take the you know the waterproof shear is going to be on the outside so if it rains it's going to catch you know the majority of that water and then if i have to go with a regular curtain it'll be just easy for me to take them down if i need to to launder to wash them okay it's, if i'm not mistaken baby it's six um it's six expandable well i can i can take it off yeah i can shorten it they'll shorten you can shorten them i mean i know you can shorten them but um is it not the um um what you call it what you call the rods you use when you can tension almost like the tension rod i know it's not a tension rod but i know you could i was thinking that the bar you can kind of slide it in and out no, you just uh, to, not these. to adjust it. Not these. What you do, what you do is you take out mm -hmm. a segment, take out a piece. Oh, okay. See like this. Let me, you guys. Okay, you see this right here? How much longer this is? Now, what uh -huh. are you gonna be here? I have them inside. Yeah, I'm gonna have them inside. You've so, got a wire cutter though, right? Huh? Don't you have a metal cutter or something? What do I need to cut metal for? I was thinking that they expand it like they don't, so you have to take out a piece. Take out a piece. Oh. Well, you if see? you need it, but then I'll make it too short, right? Well, make one side too short. I mean, well, no, not necessarily. It, it would, because I wanted them to go all the way to the end. Like this? Yeah. 
Do you have a metal? Because worst case scenario, we can just put the, because we just had a brackets go back. We can just put the brackets in it, but I'm trying not to have. See, we can put the brackets where we need them to stop. Right. But I was trying not to have any type of gaps on the side. No, and here's the reason. Um, see how these are made? They are made. Interesting. So I was thinking it extends so you have to no. screw them on. Yeah, these are. Oh. Yeah, um, I guess I didn't cut it really good. They so don't yeah, get too close. They yeah, can see, yeah, the fittings. Maybe, maybe you're cutting your head off. Okay, you don't need to see me. They need to see oh, you want to see. Oh, okay. See, so you see the ridges here? They have ridges. And so what this would do, the female, we're going to the male. Mm. They're going to the female, and then it just turns a twist. That's what those grooves are. So if I cut it, okay. you're gonna lose the grooves, which means you cannot. Well, each side has a groove. Uh, okay. So what do we need to do? Um, to get what you are, get what you are, they're either gonna be too long. Well, or either just have to be a little bit shorter. Well, a little shorter. You have to take a little shorter because the look. Um, again, like I said, you cannot um, cut the thing. Can't cut it, but you can. We really could. Could what? We could because say for instance, so what end you get in? What end you, because you can have it to where the fit is so tight, it's not going anywhere. Like, does it have? Where are the caps for the end? Now, There's only two of them. I know, but I'm saying it's, it's something to screw in. No, it gives you two. It gives you that. That's it. Baby, I saw something to screw. Why does it have that hole in it then? Well, hold this. Yeah. Unless there's something that's in the bag that you didn't know. Um, no, no, baby. Did you did you look in the box? Well, it's the bo remember in the box you had some things that you said you didn't need. Okay, where did you put those? I left them in the box where you didn't need them. Okay, they they came with these hooks, you guys. We're not gonna use these. So, this is what I was looking for. But babe, what I'm saying is. You can, um, this was a little cap, you guys, I was talking about going on the end. Okay, you guys, so when I put this up there, the way this is made, okay, y'all, let me try to get up here and explain to y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about, because I just told him, I said, you know what, that first one, that first rod, he doesn't need to cut, okay? When we put this up here like this. Can y'all see that? Y'all see this end here? Ooh, I'm trying to do this and hold the camera. This end right here hangs out past this pole. So with it hanging out past this pole, we can put the rod on it without cutting it. And it's gonna look fine with that little overhang on this side. And then we'll put the caps on the end. Y'all see that? Does that make sense? So once I get my drapes, the one that, that'll be on the inside, the, that pole that'll be right here, he'll need to cut that one because it's gonna stop at the inside of this pole. I hope that makes sense. If by chance it does not, because I was trying to do that, explain. I'll hold, make it make sense. Hold the camera in one hand and this in the other hand. But once we get it up, you'll you'll see what we're talking about. Now, the rod is gonna hang over. Baby, is it gonna hang over the post a little bit? I yep. can't remember. Yep, but it's barely. it's still but just barely. But it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna look fine. If I felt like it would look tacky. I wouldn't do it and let him cut it, but it's going to be fine. So once we get it up, um, you'll be able to see. So right now, he doesn't have to cut. Give me a break. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Just put it back far enough where it doesn't space where the screw will go up through the metal. You'll see. Everything see. You find out. Come on, Joy, please. You know what we need to get? What? So we need to get out of the way. 
Run out of spotlights. Oh, you needed to see? I yeah. can go grab it. I need to find out how I'm, how I'm on. And you need your safety glasses on, huh? Isn't it? My yellow ones. Your yellow ones? Okay, which you need to read the light? Uh, yeah. My thing. Open the one that we got the, is it a, a lamp? Something right there? We have, don't we have an extension cord right here we can plug Yeah, but here? this plugged into this is not a multiple extension. Oh. I mean, but it's two out. Yeah, but down there, what is it like going to do me down there? So if I just crack the window right there, I'm able to drop it. Oh, I thought we had another extension cord. Okay, he almost has the other bracket up. I'm just gonna screw the little piece on the end and then let him put them up. Okay, there we go. You got it, babe? Ooh. Okay, let's see what we're looking like. Balance. Let's see. Uh, go maybe to the right just a tad, and I think we're good. Okay. And they just plop down in there. Y'all see that? And it's only hanging over just a tad. So, I think that looks fine. I don't think it was necessary to cut those. But of course, when we, like I said, when we do the one, if I go with drapes on the inside. Let me look over here so you guys can see. Uh, you'll see where it stops up against the pole. Woo! Ouch. So we will have to cut those if I do drapes on the inside. So, all right, you guys, it's starting to get dark. I'll be out here in the morning to pick up where we left off today. See y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is the next morning. And uh, it's such a beautiful, cool, there's a slight breeze, crisp morning. So I'm trying to plan my day. And you guys, last night when we came in, well, when I came in, I didn't realize 
my dude number one was gonna stay outside and keep doing some stuff so he put up the other rod y'all see that he put up both of them it looks really good I'm not sure how well you guys can see that because it is blending in with the, the structure but it looks good they look great from both sides try not to get the sun in you all's eyes okay so yeah he said he's trying to get everything on his list that he needs to do checked off and speaking of his list when we had our um wait a minute let me get back to that let me get back to that do this while i'm thinking about it with our privacy fence here you guys remember me saying that i wanted <clears throat> the boards to go all the way to the top of the channel i didn't want any of this metal railing sticking out at the top but you guys remember when we did the last couple of boards the channel up there was covered up so when i came out here the other day i said babe why is that channel showing and i'm talking about the little metal thing that's holding the, the slat scene if you will for those that may not know what I'm talking about so I guess the boards have settled I don't know so we may end up getting another piece maybe maybe not because once I put my shears and stuff up you probably won't be able to see it um, too good and if somebody is tickled this morning <laughs> but okay so, and then also, we are, we're noticing that some of the boards, y'all see the boards where they're kind of warping a little bit? Let me see if you can see it on this side. You see it here. So, what he's talking about doing, it really doesn't matter to me. To me, that kind of gives it, you know, some character or whatever, but he doesn't like it, huh? He wants all of the boards to be flush. He doesn't want any of them kind of bowing out like that. So he's talking about getting, I thought he was talking about getting um, just another small piece of wood or board and running it down the middle of it. And then he was going to secure them to that board. That way it'll keep them straight and keep them from bowing. But like I say, it doesn't bother me. So I thought he was talking about doing wood, but he also mentioned maybe a piece of black metal. So I don't know what we're going to come up with or what he will come up with, but that's something that he wants to work on. I'm not sure whether or not he'll do it today because I told him it just, it doesn't really matter to me like that. I don't know. In any event, so that's something he wants to do. And also, years ago, for those of you that have been with us the, that long or this long that long a long time how about that if you remember when we got our patio extended and poured once they were done they had to spray off the patio well honey we didn't realize until later that evidently they had the pressure too strong and they ended up ripping some of our um, screens like this is one here and then now they ripped this one real good you can tell they just took the the um, the pressure washer and just and it just it ripped it. This is another one. You see the little hole down here. This area. And we just took this one out because what my husband is going to do, he's gonna replace all of the screens. So that's something that's easy to do. Um, and we really didn't even stress it. When we realized that the company that, like I say, poured the cement did that. So he's going to replace all of them, <clears throat> excuse me, all of them on the back side of our home. So that's something else he has to do. 
And y'all, when he gets out here and does stuff, like sometimes he does stuff and I don't realize he's doing it. And I don't have the camera out here. So I'm like, honey, another thing he did was my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, fire pit that was in the box. He's already put that together. I got that on clearance, you all, last season for $98. And speaking of which, anything um, like my, my drape, drapery rods, the shears, anything that I can link in the description box below that we used, I will do that, okay? Because <clears throat> I know when I put the shears up, some of you may ask, where did I... Honey, you know they came from Amazon, a.k.a. Amazing. <laughs> but when I put those up, I will definitely share those links with you all, just in case you're interested. Okay, so I think that's everything he has to do right now. So he's going to do the screens. Um, I also have some tie backs, too. Some tie backs that he's going to have to install here. But I don't want him to do that until I... Um, I want my drapes up first. That way I can kind of pull them back to see exactly where I want them. So today for me is going to mainly be doing some cleaning. You guys, we're, we're this close to start putting some, uh, you know, our patio stuff back on. So speaking of cleaning, I really love the way I was able to, these lights have been attached to our fence for years and I just attached them via by using the wonderful zip ties zip ties will bless your whole life I love a zip tie <laughs> but as you can see my point was wait a minute is that a web y'all know how these spider webs be out here or cobwebs in the mornings okay um <clears throat> speaking of which I need to pressure wash and clean over here as well but also these little lights, I need to clean the globes in them. Because they really do get pretty and sparkly um, when I clean them. So I need to clean that. Um, this panel is hanging here because when I had a thought last year of trying to get our outdoor space together... I wanted to kind of just put up one panel first to see, you know, how it was going to flow, what it looked like. It has since faded, so I will need to use that to, I can use that and lay it down when I'm painting and stuff as a, uh, some type of tarp or something. Okay, so as I was saying, what I'm going to do today, y'all, is I need to get the chairs um, the chairs cleaned and the table cleaned I do want to do some spray painting too to touch up it looks like the table may be fine it needs to be clean it's good and dirty but I don't think I think it's okay with the paint but I want to touch up some of uh, the chairs and y'all my husband is so particular even when he was getting stuff off the patio he makes sure when he sits the things in the yard that he sits everything out really neat because honey he can't he cannot stand just stuff just everywhere and I just I love him yeah I love that man but he's so meticulous about everything that he does so he didn't want the backyard looking all terrible. Um, so he made sure that when he put everything out in the yard, he put it out here neat. Love him, love him, love him. So we have the chairs here. Uh, and as usual, y'all, I'm trying to go slow and not sling y'all around. Uh, we have chairs here. Hopefully I can get those pulled out. I say, baby, the way you pack stuff up, pack stuff up and put it away. It makes it hard for me to get to it. He said, baby, I'll pull it out for you. But he forgot to pull it out last night before he went inside. So, yeah. Stuff is, he had, look, he has the four little chairs packed up under there. So nice and neat. 
and then other stuff up here and like i said i had started buying stuff last year because that my intentions were to you know do something with my backyard so okay anyway let me get back on task i'm just talking to y'all this morning just want you to, to know my game plan i'm trying not to um i was in the the what's that thing called the garage yeah that the garage last night and y'all I had a couple of bags in there with pillows and stuff that I had bought from last year like I said when I was going to uh, do something to my backyard and I never used it so we'll talk more about that when I start pulling out stuff to decorate but now I need to get the holes back here, not this side. I'm going to do the other side. Dog, I just forgot after I unlocked this gate. Okay. I meant to get the holes from the front of the house because that's the one it's actually already back for you guys i just need to turn it on i totally forgot okay so let me go turn on the water and that'll be done oh is that a cobweb point I need to trim these bushes these rose bushes and when I trim them you guys I'll get um they should bloom again later in the year so I tell you and those are these little small knockout roses you guys my mother-in-law gave those to me and they were really small oh Y'all see my apples are coming in. Look at them. Y'all, my husband was trying to figure out too. If some of you have some answers. There are some. Why is it that some of the leaves are dead? Some of the leaves are dead. I do know that this entire branch is dead. It needs to be removed. But. It's just. It's baffling. Where you have some of the leaves are green and some of them are, are dead. Make it make sense. Okay. Okay, so we have the water on. Y'all, it is so pretty out here today. So, so pretty. So I need to get this furniture pulled out, get it sprayed down and cleaned up. I think I'm going to use some more of my cleaner mm. that I used for when I pressure washed. Well, not sort of kind of pressure washed. Y'all see I pulled out the pressure washer. Never plugged it up when I was doing the, when I was doing the, um, cleaning of my patio. I just didn't. Once I added that little nozzle to my end of my holes, and the cleaner did so well, you guys. I'm using this 30 seconds cleaner. I have to remember some of you, this may be the first time you clicked on this video, honey. If it is, you need to go back and look at the other videos in this series so you can catch up. But this is what I use, the 30-second cleaner. When I cleaned our... Now, that's the concentrated, so you have to dilute it. But when I cleaned our siding and pressure washed. So, that's what's in here. 
and like I said, it's diluted. So what I need to do is get the furniture pulled out. Because I've talked to y'all long enough. I need to get my work done. <laughs> Before my dude, number one, a.k.a. my husband, gets home. <laughs> but I need to pull this furniture out and spray it down. And get it cleaned. Give it time to dry. And then I have this little sand block here. I think some areas, if they look like it, you know, if it looks like it needs to be a little smooth, like on the arms of the chairs, I may need to use this. Now, this is just one I've had for quite some time. I need to probably go to Lowe's and get some more, maybe like 20 grit sandpaper. Maybe. So, we're going to pull the chairs out, pull the furniture out. We're going to spray it down, and it's going to sit out in the sun to get dry. You guys, we are back in Lowe's again. I'm gonna have to add some music because Lowe's is playing the music. So I need to drown that out. Hopefully you can hear us. Uh, we decided to come back to Lowe's. He's looking for the supports for the back of the um, privacy fence. What I showed you guys today and how it was kind of warping and bending. So that's what you're looking at? Okay. And I that's gotta, gonna- I need to go check something. These are the screws, screws. so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to check right now to see the boards with this come okay. through the board this is the one i desire oh that's that gonna one. be oh, like it might be too long <laughs> okay but so this is the only thing we have so before we got started on everything else we needed to finish he wanted to come and get this so what we're gonna end up doing is getting back at it in the morning okay you guys Alright you guys, so we ended up back in the closet section. Like I said, I apologize if that music had to be too loud um, that I added trying to drown out their music. So we were looking at the first um, metal, what were they called, baby? The little metal strips that you picked up. Those are like 21 something a piece. Right? Right. We tired, we're ready to go home. <laughs> so I said, well, babe, just let's go back to the closet section. So we ended up getting um what is this? What you doing? I'm trying to figure out what that thing was called that we got out of the closet. Six dollars or something, like seven dollars or seven. They were at rail, something brought. It says Pillister strip. Okay, I guess that's so. Anyway, five dollars and eighteen cents. So, yeah. 
So both of them ended up being what, like ten dollars and thirty six cents. So there you go. We got that, and then you're gonna have a spray paint can of spray paint. Listen, guys, I'm um I'm going to get some donuts. What? <laughs> Hell, man, these donuts, y'all. So in any event, y'all, we're gonna close this video. Oh, it's dark. We 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 just gotten grainy. We're gonna end this video. We will check back in with you guys on tomorrow in the morning when we're outside in the beautiful daylight. Okay. Oh, so he's going to get donuts. Donuts, right? Donuts, man. I mean, you don't understand. I'm so mad that I couldn't get what I want. I'm just getting some.